Thanks to all of you for watching Collision 2020 from home. I'd like to talk about how we think about innovation and how we drive transformation to become a smart mobility solution provider in today's uncertainties. Let's take a brief look back. Since the invention of car and first mass production, the auto industry has grown for the past 100 years. Technology, manufacturing, and sales of cars changed very little. However, when digitalization entered the stage, it made a way for entirely new markets, products, and services. The entire auto industry has been radically disrupted. Markets have become borderless, and auto industry is facing competition from the tech industry with strong software background. So, what does this mean to us? It means that we must handle four major transformative trends well. We call it Mecca, while others call it slightly differently, but they all mean the same. Mobility as a service and so forth. We've decided to drive open innovation to take the lead in this race to transform the auto industry. Of course, open innovation is not done exclusively by us, but we do have a different and special approach to it. We believe that we will be missing something if we only focus on technology. In fact, we find it to be critically important to ask some fundamental questions first. They need to be answered to develop mobility in a responsible way and to the benefit of the society. It's all about people, yes, human. First, is there any possibility that robotaxi service turns out to be an exclusive technology for only a few rich people who can afford it? Next, we all admit that technology has given us lots of benefits. But what kind of drawbacks has it caused to the humanity? What happens to the role of human workforce when manufacturing becomes fully automated? And finally, we ask ourselves, as one of the leading mobility companies in the world, don't we have a responsibility to create a more sustainable and inclusive future? Well, to find the answers to these fundamental questions, we have developed our own definition of different levels of innovation. First of all, there is our internal innovation. At our R&D center, 13,000 engineers drive technology innovation from within our company. Next, we also foster open innovation with new partnerships outside of our company, from startups, governments, academia, and even past competitors. We are opening our doors to build the future together. But still, this tech and business-focused open innovation is not enough to answer the questions we just asked. So, we go one step further. We call it human-centered innovation. It means that we want to look at how people want to live and move and how we can shape a vibrant society with a sustainable and inclusive mobility solutions. We've been approaching this through collaboration with artists, creators, and future thinkers from around the world. We use art to open up socially relevant perspectives to future challenges. The fusion of art and technology helps us to spark innovation. John Lester from Pixel once said, art challenges technology, while technology inspires art. So we've been exploring with globally renowned partners in the art scene. For example, with Bloomberg Media, we've been releasing a series of provocative art and tech content. Also, we are leading some global art projects with Tate Modern in London and Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Art is one of the drivers of our circle of human value creation. Art is used to inspire thinking and ask the right questions that need to be answered for the development of new technological solutions and business models. One way that we bring this to life is through our creative talent platform called 
zero one. We've also set up several cradles, which is our innovation hubs around the world. Let's talk a little more about zero one and cradles. Zero one is creating an ecosystem for creative talents such as artists, architects, engineers, and entrepreneurs. It's a place of active collaboration between creators, startups, and our company. These creative talents come up with questions that are posed by society, and the startups interpret these questions into specific problems in real life and discover solutions. Zero One provides a multidisciplinary playground in Seoul where creative talents work on finding answers to these meaningful questions. The playground is not only about space and facilities, it's more about collaboration among people with diverse backgrounds that work and play together. And here is the Zero One Day. It's an annual festival to showcase Creative Talents Project. Last year, it was held under the topic Boardless in Everything. At Zero One Day, you will see cross-section of technology, innovation, art, and even music. We also have global innovation hubs to strengthen our open innovation efforts across products and services. At Cradle, we look for strategic partnerships and investment opportunities to grow our future mobility ecosystem. Currently, we have four Cradle offices, Silicon Valley, Tel Aviv, Berlin, and Beijing. Next year, we'll be opening another brand new Cradle office in Singapore. Each Cradle has its own dedicated area based on the technological strengths and unique assets of that particular region. Cradle's mission is driving disruptive innovation. They invest extensively in promising startups and create partnerships. Through our Cradle network, we now have over 60 partners. Uber is our future air mobility partner, and it was announced at CES in January. Aptiv is our partner for self-driving technology. Super Performance Electrical Vehicle is jointly being developed with Rimac in Croatia. Arriver and Canu are strategic partners to bring electric purpose-built vehicle vision to life. With these partners and more, we are building a sustainable mobility ecosystem together. And we don't stop here. Building a sustainable mobility ecosystem is our ultimate goal. So, we believe that one of the key drivers enabling this goal are partnerships under the spirit of human-centered innovation. In this mobility ecosystem, Hyundai Motor Group aspires to become a smart mobility solution provider. And we would like to invite more partners to join us on this exciting journey. We don't know exactly where this innovation journey will take us in the end. But I'm quite sure that what we are creating together will be greater than what we can imagine now. If you have brilliant ideas for the future of mobility, let's bring it to life together. Why don't you come and join us? I want to close my presentation with an invitation. On October 30th, we will host a virtual public forum called Mobility Innovators Forum. We held this event in San Francisco for the past four years. It will bring together thought leaders from various disciplines to discuss the most pressing topics to further develop the vision for a human-centered future of mobility. Like this event, it will be a purely virtual event, so you are welcome to attend and participate from anywhere in the world. I look forward to see you there. Thank you.